What's up people, it's Wasabi and I'm back with another review. SimGuard sent me these IEMs. Thank you SimGuard. But as always with my content, these are my thoughts, personal opinions and experiences with the product. And today we're gonna look at SimGuard's brand new Supermix 4 IEMs. Now here's a quick look at the packaging because that's what you pay for too. What's inside? First you got the Supermix 4s fitted in this foam piece. And here's what it looks like on the back. In the accessories box, you have a set of small, medium and large silicone rubber ear tips and in the last box is where you'll find the user manual along with this wonderful looking case with a cable in it and this cable looks really good and that's pretty much all that's included inside the box now before we go any further let's manage some expectations here real quick SimGuard is known for producing high quality in your monitors for a good price and they have been becoming increasingly popular for that very reason the super mix 4 which is what we have today is their latest quad bridge driver IEMs and the these are available for a price of about $150. SimGuard sent me these IEMs to test and share my thoughts on them and how I feel about it for gamers, so that's what I'm gonna do. By the way, this is the latest review unit which has the final tuning that will be available for consumers. Now let's have a brief look at what makes the Super Mix 4 unique. The Super Mix 4 is a hybrid IEM and has a very interesting 4 driver hybrid configuration utilizing one dynamic driver for the low frequencies, one balance armature for the mids, as well as planar magnetic and PZT drivers for high frequencies with incredible detail and resolution. And the Super Mix 4 comes with a high purity silver plated OFC lit structure cable. The design is wonderful. They look a little simple with its design and a little different if you're familiar with SimGuard's previous IEMs. These come off rather bold with a touch of elegance in the fine gold ring detail in the faceplate which looks really good. 3D printed high quality resin shell in black and even the cable looks great with a darker shade of silver and the details of the connectors plug and chin slider are in the same colorway as the faceplate on the Super Mix 4 and each driver has a separate acoustic duct. As a gamer I appreciate the matte metal faceplate and they look so good with the gold ring detail. The shell on the back is a rich gloss black so you should probably still keep a cloth on hand. The build quality of the Super Mix 4 is great. Matte metal faceplate with a resin shell is a nice combination of materials and makes these IEMs feel solid and durable. The Super Mix 4 for me has been a very comfortable and secure fit which feels fantastic but I also appreciate how lightweight they feel. The ear hooks feel a little softer and more flexible than some of SimGuard's other stock cables. Nothing special about the silicone rubber tips, these are pretty much the same as the ones they use on their other IEMs. They fit well and feel comfortable enough. The cable looks and feels great however the chin slider ring on the cable is a pretty loose fit though. It's not a big deal but this is the only physical part that comes off a little off from the IEM experience. Overall the Super Mix 4 feels very well made, has a great build quality and have been very comfortable to wear for long hours for me. Keep in mind that comfort levels vary from person to person and everyone's ears anatomy is a little different so what's comfortable for me may not be comfortable for you. The sound of these have been very enjoyable, great resolution and details with good balance and it's just been an experience that I've enjoyed using using for long sessions of gaming, music and video production which is what I do with this channel. You got smooth treble with excellent clarity, the mids are pretty upfront with a touch of warmth, bass is nice and tight with excellent detail and texture, it's not over exaggerated and does not bleed into the upper mid range. It's a nice bass but it's not the kind of bass that bass hits would particularly enjoy because it feels like it could use more weight and slam with the bass. The imaging and sound stage are fantastic on the Super Mix 4, huge holographic sound stage with great perception of width height and depth and positioning is very accurate as well so how are these for gaming when i use the super mix 4 for the first time the first thing that came to my mind is that these would be brilliant for gaming and they are i totally love these for gaming honestly i've been having a fantastic time gaming with these iems noise isolation is great the sound quality is brilliant in game excellent imaging and positioning big spacious sound stage with nice layering and handles well when things get very chaotic in game. In short, you get an incredible immersive experience which makes it easy to identify accurately the direction and distance of sound effects. These IEMs have been great, not just the way it sounds but along with the technical performance like this and it has been awesome for Valorant and Overwatch 2. Really with the Super Mix 4, SimGuard might have just created the ultimate recipe for IEMs for gaming. So 
in conclusion are the super mix for good IEMs for gamers. For me, 100%. With amazing detail and clarity, incredible soundstage and an immersive experience with such good audio quality, this is one of those IEMs that are just good for both casual and competitive gaming. Again, the Super Mix 4 is pretty lightweight and a very comfortable fit for me. Maybe different for you, but I gotta say that I've been loving these for extensive game time. However, I gotta mention that it does get shouty and fatiguing if you listen at very high volumes if you're treble sensitive. I generally don't enjoy audio too loud, so with my experience, these have been sounding wonderful for me pretty much all of the time. As a gamer, having these on my setup, I really appreciate the matte metal faceplate because other IMs that I've used had a glossy finish which does look beautiful, but I can't deny that it's not a pretty sight when they are covered with fingerprints. So considering the materials of the Supermix 4 and using it on my setup, it is a refreshing change if you know what I mean. It's kind of like going from a glossy set of keycaps to a set of double shot PBTs. Overall, the Supermix 4 is a solid release from SimGod and even though it lacks an assortment of accessories you would expect from IEMs in this price range, I am pretty happy with the build quality, design and sound quality it has. And again, as a gamer, I am loving these so much. Also, you can tell a lot about a brand just from experiencing the product and I can tell there's a lot of passionate people behind this ambitious project. Really huge praise to everyone at SimGod, these IEMs are fantastic. As always, if you've never used IEMs before, jumping right into these for gaming might not be the best idea but only because not everyone enjoys having things plugged in their ears for long hours. And if you're not sure, you should probably start with budget IEMs that you can find in the $20 range. But if you're familiar with using in-ear audio for long hours and you're looking for really good IEMs for gaming, well, not just for gaming, but everything on your setup as well, and you don't mind spending $150, I recommend the Super Mix 4 for the quality and performance and its incredible value for money. So yeah, these are my thoughts, personal opinions, and experiences with the SimGod Super Mix 4. Once again, big thanks to SimGod for sending these IEMs over. You know, honestly speaking, I feel that SimGod has been releasing some absolutely incredible IEMs and there's always something special or interesting about their products and the quality is either relative to what you pay for or even more. And as a brand, they are going very strong with their products. Their website is not up to date, they are more active on their Twitter page with what they are working on and the latest releases so be sure to check it out. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and I guess I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>